You are watching Market Watch, the brief overview of the key events from the world of finance. Even before the opening of the US trading session on Tuesday, the mood in the financial markets had changed. It's no secret that the overall tone is set by the technology sector. So last week, Nvidia's report became a reason for massive purchases, and now Apple is reminding investors that stocks are a risky asset. Recall that on Monday, the EU fined Apple $2 billion, and on Tuesday it became known about a 24% drop in iPhone sales in China. As a result, in just two days, the shares of the world's second-largest company fell by 5%, significantly cooling the market. Another gust of cold wind in the USA came from Europe. This time we are talking about an arson attack that occurred near the Tesla factory in Germany, because of which production was stopped. The temporary suspension of the factory and the harsh reaction of Elon Musk only intensified the sale of shares of this company, which led to an overall decrease of 10%. As the shares of the two tech giants went down, the overall market mood changed. If we summarize the current situation, we can note a general decrease in interest and risk. This is clearly seen not only by the moderate sales of key stock indices, but also by the significant decline in the largest cryptocurrencies. When it comes to a sharp change in financial market sentiment, especially from bullish to bearish, risk hedging immediately becomes relevant. One of the most commonly used tools for this is gold. It is for this reason that the collapse in the stock market has served as a really strong growth driver for gold. And although there has been no update to the historical maximum, this scenario should not be ruled out. Indeed, in the event of a further decline in the stock market, gold will be in demand from institutional investors, setting a new record. But this week we are seeing a stir not only and not even so much in the US stock market as in the cryptocurrency market. After updating the maximum, Bitcoin collapsed below 60,000. In just one day, the value of an asset with a capitalization of more than $1.3 trillion collapsed by 14%. And in this case, several facts coincided. Firstly, investors have been fixed profits at the historical maximum. Secondly, the sell-off in the US stock market has significantly reduced risk appetite. Thirdly, the market, in anticipation of important statements from the head of the Fed, who will speak in the Senate today, reported on the work done over the past six months. Investors do not exclude the risk of harsh rhetoric, which will reduce the likelihood of monetary policy easing. This is another bearish factor for the cryptocurrency market. That's all I have. Follow the news carefully and be prepared for all the surprises of the market.